She looks straight ahead, ignoring you. Well, aren't you industrious? It seems all the riffraffs back aboard as well. Ready to set sail when you are, your holiness. Alright, everyone's here, right? Hope I'm not forgetting anything. Fantastic. Now, on to the interesting part. After many adventures, the party finally reached the place where Godwo can go to become divine. But more surprises and difficult choices awaited. Why is my webcam backwards? It looks backwards. I accidentally click something to make it flip. Check. Nope, there's only a flip vertically. Don't know, that's weird. Put a filter on it or something, did I? Nope. Weird. Don't know what the deal of that is. And here I thought Malady was on an edge. Still, too. it's what's on the inside that counts, isn't that right? And this is the place you're meant to become a god. I can't help but wonder exactly what you intend to do with such a power. Hmm. I'm not a fan of any of these options. Don't like two the most. I'll do three. Not convinced I'm the person for the job. All the better. Power is best wielded by those who have no desire for it. You will do well. I'm certain of it. Her outfit change? You'll want to hurry now. Divinity is waiting, after all. What should I expect on the island? Excellent question. Normally, this place ought only to be known to Godwoken, but... Judging by the ships burning in the bay, there's been a uh, breach, let's call it. Regardless of who's on the island, all that matters is who ascends. Make sure that's you. The strongest will survive and ascend. Uh, ask about the wellspring. I'm hardly an expert on the matter, but I'm smart enough to put two and two together. Where there is an ocean of source, there is a well for drawing from it. To rise to divinity, you probably need to take a gulp. Oh, I'm sure it won't be that simple. Source buttons over here flickering and it's weirding me out. Why is everyone so shiny white? Gareth greets you warmly. He's oddly chipper. More chipper than you ever seen. Hey, the and certainly more chipper thing wants to talk to me. Morning, dead what the? Ones. I should thank you. I don't know what came over me. Praise Lucy and I had you to put me on the right track. How are you holding Not up? Not bad. Took some time to think. My parents led good lives. I'd rather celebrate them for the love they gave me than to wail over their loss. Besides, we have work to do. Once we anchor at the Nameless Isle, I'll scout ahead. See if I can help locate the council and ease the way. I'll report to you on what I find. None Gareth thanks. offers his farewell and hums to himself. You recognize the tune, Blessed and Bold, a hymn praising Lucian. 
All right. Squirrel. It's still there, Quercus. Do you think it'll ever leave us in peace? It wanted to talk to me, and it did nothing. The squirrel guides its cat over to you, chittering as it goes. It reaches up and hands you a piece of bark. The wood is covered in a scratchy, scrawled handwriting. It's hard to read, but you can just about make out the recipe for a spell. Oh. What? Thanks, squirrel friend. To observe my ship all over again. Hey, it's our friends! Tread carefully, my dear. Those are black ring banners that I spy on the shore. I studied the tablet that you so generously provided. It showed me everything I need to know about creating a functional sworn breaker. Once I have that, I'll be free of the covenant. And free to spend the rest of my days with Mahali. See those structures further inland? Remarkably like those from the caverns of the Black Pits, aren't they? Should you discover the parts needed for a sworn breakup, please bring them to me. I'll make it worth your while. Also, you will likely encounter sworn followers of the God King on that island, I suspect. I would avoid combat if possible. Death can be less than final for them, if the God King wills it. You can bring him back. Invites on a hundred proceed on him. Almira doesn't respond right away. Instead, she turns and gazes intently at the island. After a long moment, she finally speaks. Uh, Tooth is killing me. I sense a familiar presence. The Sallow Man. Yes. He's there somewhere. Likely commanding Black Ring forces. You should seek him out. He's a foul creature, but not opposed to cutting a deal. Beware his underlings, though. If they challenge your presence, pose as a thrall of mine, and you should gain safe passage. Good to know. My name should still command respect among them. Something on your mind, darling? Do what you must I don't know if I should let her wrap it. I don't want to linger a moment longer. Sabrina! Hey, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping in. Hope you are doing better than yesterday. I don't care about that kid. Harkin doesn't seem to be up here. I have to observe <laughs> the whole ship again. Lovely. The boat creaking noises. What's over yonder? You're doing a bit better? Good. That makes me glad to hear. I'm doing well myself. I have something stuck in my cavity and it's hurting my tooth, so it's gonna be making strange faces, but other than that, I'm doing well. Nothing too crazy or exciting going on. Uh, we literally just walked into Act 3, finally. Let's go see if that, uh, that girl is down here. The little girl doesn't acknowledge your presence. She remains locked away somewhere. Do I have a spell that can cure sleeping? Curious. Normalcy, you just have to punch him, right? by clear-minded or enraged okay 
Oh, well, let's enrage her and see what happens. The little girl doesn't acknowledge you. Totally didn't do anything. Okay. As you approach, the silent monk puffs a bit of air from between her stitched lips. She oh, right. They don't, they don't do it. Right, did I want to redo anyone's skills? I don't recall. Oh. Oh, we're all sourced up. We're good. We're good. They should have went and gotten sourced after beating up that troll, but looks like we are. Oh, here he is. Quite a journey I found myself on with you. Is this where it ends, I wonder? Give me advice. Curious how you have the nerve to seek my help after you showed so little interest in assisting me with my own little matter previously. You're a douche, I think man. It's fair to say that I have no advice for you, none whatsoever. I'm gonna throw you off my ship. Do you enjoy fending for yourself against my former comrades. Who did, you, who did you serve? Pursuit of my interests has led me to fall in with some disreputable company in my time. For a short while, one such group was the Black Ring. I know, I know, not something to be proud of, but they let me do as I wished, so desperate they were for aid after the death fog cut them down to size. A fine arrangement, until they started preaching about this god king and his infernal covenant. He snorts derisively. The last thing this world needs is another would-be god, and an army of fools willing to follow him. What is the covenant? It's a sop to all the fools who think that someone will grant them power and immortality in return for loyalty. This god king has caused to make war with the seven, and the covenant is how he's gathered his army. They become sworn. As it was put to me. Bound to serve, die, and be reborn for the God King for as long as he wishes. Then, at some ill defined point in the future, they think they'll be rewarded. You should have seen them all on their knees, worshipping a new tyrant just to spite seven old ones. I got away from them while I still could. Unfortunately, Dallas was waiting to snatch me. Tell me what you know about the God King. There's a clue in the name. He's a god, or something that wants to be a god. Continue to march to the Seven's Beat, and I'm sure you'll find out exactly what he is. They're all the same, you know. Tyrants, liars, carrion birds. The best thing would be for them all to destroy each other and leave the rest of us to live in peace. Very turn other matters. Great. Oh, he still has the stuff that I gave him earlier. All right, new area. It's over here. Wreckage up in here. Oh, you're boiling something. Oh, purged corpse.
Ooh, that's a nice one. That's already better than Kiss of Death. Neat. The hell just happened? Did you see that? Something showed up there. Oh man, there's lava everywhere. I don't like this. These bodies have been purged. Who could have done this? I suspect we should see and find out. Way we should even go. But well, that's the teleport, okay. Did I read that? Oh, well. Ooh, there's an arm. It's a bill. Dinner time. You're a young magister, devoted to Dallas. You fight alongside paladins. The order united in battle, fighting the Black Ring, as in the Great War. It's the proudest moment of your life, and then it's the last. Fortunately, what happened to you? Lots of whites around. A magister. Dead on the beach. What a surprise. The seaside doesn't suit them, does it? <laughs> oh, there's reds that way. There. Another red. Also a green. Quick as a flash, the Magister has an arrow notched on his raised bow. He falters. A glimmer of recognition crosses so his face. Because he's dead, though. Followed a moment later by oh, a this guy. Smile. I'm looking at the dead body here. I thought this was me. My Fort Joy Savior. I never thought I'd clap eyes on you again. I saved you? You always seem to catch me at a low ebb, unfortunately. My troop was slaughtered by Black Ring. I'm the only survivor. What are you doing here? That's a coincidence. I heard there is riches here. A skeptical eyebrow arches upwards. Few know of this island. I can't imagine who would make such a claim. Never mind. There are more important matters at hand. Bishop Alexander and the others might still be out there. I need to find them. Let me stay by your side for now. You can count on my bow in any fights to come. Sir Alexander's here. He nods. I never thought I'd follow him. Not after Fort Joy, but he won over us veterans, Magister and Paladin alike. He's like a different man, now that he's found the path to divinity. He broke free from Dallas and Breedman's influence, and they tried to murder him for it. Them and their white Magisters. Us loyalists had to stand by his side. The fracturing of the Divine Order, the Void Woken Crisis, multiple attempts on his life. He's let none of it deter him. Now Ascension is within sight at last. Sure, come he on. slings a quiver of arrows across his back and nods. I'm worried that um Eyes he's going to end up dying. You frown with surprise. Alexander vanished along with all the others when the Lady Vengeance breached the Hall of Echoes. You assumed he was dead. Got 
Chat question.